I decided to make a bonus video, why not? Making necklace pendants and cabochons looking like dichroic glass with nail polish. Jewelry. Why not make a bonus clip of a couple of pendants, okay? So why not? So what you're gonna need is, you've already seen my video of making earrings with nail polish. So you're just gonna need nail polishes in your favorite colors, some painter's tape so that you can stick the gem to it and some necklace bells. Now you can use um, any type of bells you want. These are bells I got from Hobby Lobby for $3.99. They were 50% off, so I spent $2. So super cool. And we're just gonna get started painting. So the more I kept staring at this paint, I wanted to use it to make like a brown necklace pendant. I don't know what it was called in my name. And so I thought this shimmer color was really, really pretty. So again, all these nail polishes that I used in the earring video and in this video as well came from the Dollar Tree. So you just have to give them a really great coat, give them time to dry. And the whole premise around it is that it's gonna look like dichroic glass. I shouldn't have gone back over that. So once you get a good coat on, a great coat on, leave it alone, <laughs> right? So got that one and then we're gonna make one more okay y'all so i was harassing my son i told him when i get old if he doesn't come visit me i'm gonna haunt him <laughs> so anyway oh my god i love this color so i'm putting this incredible charcoal gray on this green stone and it looks like a moon like a planet oh my gosh i can't keep messing with y'all i gotta go to the grocery store I gotta go look at a lot for a client. <laughs> I'm negotiating an offer I'm waiting to hear back on, but hey, I just couldn't help myself since we were already painting. I'm like, let's just do a bonnet pendant video because why not? I shouldn't have done that. I'm I need to let these dry in between cups. So that's really pretty. This color is by LA Colors. It's number 469. Oh, it's called Twilight. Oh, they do have colors on this side. I'm such a goofball. That's why it's such a great color. It's called Twilight. So I'm gonna, I decided to do a pair of earrings to match it so we could do a set. What I realized I don't have is any chains and I had some in my hand, but I was being cheap. I didn't buy them, but anyway, I'm gonna get some chains so you can see what it'll look like on a chain. And that way it'll be a complete set. Oh my gosh, y'all. I feel like the weeks are going by so fast. I'm like, summer, summer don't speed by. Summer just slow down, but I know it's only June 2nd, so she's not going by that fast, but I'm like, don't even think about it. I think it's because normally, you know, we, well, I'm not saying we would be planning a vacation because I'm not a planner. We'll wake up on Wednesday and be like, hey, wanna go to DC? Which is literally six hours away, but that's the type of planning I do. And luckily, not luckily, cause no such thing as luck, but I'm blessed that I have a husband that doesn't mind my last minute decision making. It doesn't really get on his nerves. So we're gonna sit that one there. We're gonna sit this one here and we're gonna do another coat on the really pretty champagne brown pendant. And it's like a matte finish, which I really think is pretty. So. Let's paint in the same direction we were going in a second ago. I just touched the earring with my pinky because <laughs> I felt the nail polish touch my, my pinky. So we're gonna let that, we're gonna let that dry. And then fortunately, this is just nail, all you need is nail polish remover, right, to get it off, which I don't have any at the table, but I am gonna fix the little snafu I just made so it doesn't dry, you know, with a spot in it or whatever. So anyway, what are y'all doing today? Like, I was so excited that it was Tuesdays because I could come and share a video. Like, you just don't know. Like, I'm up in the morning at like 4.30 and five o'clock studying for, a real estate certification and the whole time 
I need to be focused and paying attention. I'm thinking about what I can make on my jewelry videos. And I'm like, Lord, help my focus in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Because I have to get this, I have to get this thing out of the way. Not that I'm rushing it because it's a process. It's not, it's a lot of information. So I know it's not something I can hurry up and do, nor do I want to hurry up and do it. But I'm literally sitting there thinking while I'm doing it. What can I teach? What can I share with them? What can we make? What can we do? Which way did it go? So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can pick this up without messing up anything. Please don't fall in my lap. Look how pretty that is. I mean, literally it looks like an outer space stone. I love it. I'm gonna have to do the sides because I see down there where it didn't get all the way to the side, but I would do that after it dries a little bit more. And look at that one. I love how matte, how there's a matte finish to that one. And you know, again, I shared this on the earring making video is that the sky is the limit because um, there's so many different colors of nail polish at the Dollar Tree. I mean, literally, how many do I have right here? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. 30. I have 34 or 35 bottles of nail polish just right here on the table. And I haven't even used all of them to make anything. But imagine if there's, if you had five colors and you mixed them all up, the different things you could make. So of course I need to do the side right there, but look how pretty those are. I mean, you can even add glitter to these. You could add some stars. You could add some yummy sparkle. I mean, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna let these dry, but I wanted to create a pendant and a necklace set. Since in the last video, we just did earrings, just to give you an idea of what you can make. So let's do that. And then we're gonna come back after they dry. Okay, so let's figure out what colors we're gonna put on here. And I'm still gonna be working with the champagne color cabochon. <clears throat> and we're gonna move this over here. So we can work with it. So I see it being like a shade or having a shade of like a muted brown and maybe a gray. So this color is actually called Twisted Affair and it's number 532 in LA Colors. And like I was sharing with you, is there's just so much that you can do. But I hadn't used this color in forever. I think when I bought it, I realized it was a color I wasn't necessarily in love with. So I didn't use it a lot. Actually, because it just made my fingernails look like I had been embalmed, so I didn't love it. But anyway, so. Let's put some brown spots on there. Oh, and you could really do a super cool leopard print because of the way it's already looking. Let me see if I can get it closer to, closer to you. So we could go about putting some black and some brown print on there. Let's see. I don't know, maybe. So let's put some black spots on there and see. That's pretty cool. And then let's put some white speckles and see what it looks like. So I don't have a white nail polish. Again, the closest thing I have to white is this cashmere by Simple Colors. So we're just gonna take a small amount of that. And then we're definitely gonna let it dry for a minute so that all the colors just don't start to bleed together. So it doesn't necessarily exactly look like leopard print. However, I don't dislike it. I think it's pretty. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna add like some of the maroon or burgundy color. Like why not? We're already working with it, right? And I think I wanna go in and add some gray as well. So this color by Simple Colors is called Trend Matters. And this is a really nice, oops. <laughs> 
This is a nice nail polish as well because it goes on well. Like if you want to wear it on your nails, it gives you like a really great color. So I'm just going to put a few dots. And I don't want it to look like polka dots. So I'm going to do more of a smashing technique like a from this, using the side of the brush from that type angle. Because I don't want a polka dot effect. That's not the look I'm going for. Although that's kind of what it's looking like. <laughs> so next, let's use one of our gray colors. So this is like a steel gray. And I'm not sure if this color would actually show up. So we're gonna see if it does when I go to put it on there. And if not, I have a silver one over there. But I wanna get this mixed up really well. And let's see what it'll look like. I'm thinking that we're gonna have to use the silver over there though only because this may not be pigmented enough to show up in this, but let's see. Oh, and like on the earrings, if you got a chance to see the earring, oh, it does. If you got a chance to see the earring video that I made, initially I had done the gloss effect with a clear nail polish glaze, but what I realized is that it wasn't as glossy or shiny as I wanted it, so I ended up going back over it with some of the um, 3D Mod Podge. I'll show that to you right with Dimensional Magic. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's really pretty. I want to pick it up and show it to you. However, the silver is running, which looks like it's going to be a really pretty color. So I'm going to leave that alone for a minute. And this is what I used to gloss the earrings that we had done in the other video. And so this is just, if you wanna use, initially what I had used is a super dry top coat. And even though it gave a nice shine, I wanted it to have more of a shine and show more of the dimensions of the color. So I ended up using the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And although they're domed, what I did was just spread a little bit. I poured some out and then I just used the tip of the applicator to spread it out a little bit because this actually has a point on it so you can control your nozzle and so although some did run to the side that's really fine because I'm gonna cover up that paint that nail polish right there it's fine because it'll dry clear and then we can just clean the bottom off so here is oh let's work with the other so this is the other cabochon that we're making as well I'm just trying to get it closer to you. And I'm trying to decide what color I'm gonna put on here. I have this army green, like a, I mean, it's not an army green, it's like a silver, but let's see, cause I don't know how much of it is gonna show up. And I wanna do the entire look with nail polish. I also have this color and I have this Funfetti nail polish. So I'm kind of undecided, but let's see. I have to shake it up really well because it was looking kind of green when I first had it on camera and it's not green at all. It's actually a silver, really fine, really fine, kind of glittery shimmer color to it. So let's see. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is like, put it on half of it and see what it comes out looking like. I like that. I think that has a really pretty dimension. And so of course, with this one, you know that we're making an earring set. So be sure to get around your edges. And we're only gonna do half of it. So I wanna make sure to put a really great coat. And then we're gonna move this one over here so it can dry. And we'll bring the earrings over. And then of course, I'm doing more than one coat. I'm doing at least two coats, depending on the thickness of the nail polish. This seems to have like a really great coverage Okay, so we're doing the sides, 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these dry, of course, and then decide what else we're gonna add. I'm thinking that I wanna add like a gold glitter stripe as a line. I'll show you where as soon as I get this side done. How's y'all's day going? I'm so excited to do this bonus video because I was like, look, since we already got everything laid out, like why not? And you just have to make sure, you know, so you just have to make sure, you know, that you're matching everything up when you're doing this. I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. Okay. Hey, is there, in y'all's area, are y'all's dressing rooms closed at your Walmart? I just took my teenager to Walmart. She wanted to buy herself a pair of overalls. And when we went, I went back to try to see if we could try them on. And they said all the dressing rooms were closed. And I was really surprised, but I mean, I hadn't been in the store in forever in a day. And our mall was closed because it got looted. So that wasn't a possibility. But look, so I was just wondering, so this is the Kiss Gel Nail Polish from the Dollar Tree. And this color is silver. That's what it says on the back. <laughs> so this color is silver, really pretty. So now I'm gonna hold up, that's one of the pendants that we're making. Which I think is really pretty. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then this is what the half and half pendant looks like. And we're gonna be able to get it straight once it dries. But I love how this set is coming together. I think it looks so pretty. Very beautiful. So stay tuned, let's let these dry. I just wanted right to show you all too, while we're waiting on these to dry is, I got this chain from Walmart because their craft section seems to be expanding as well. And it was only $2.88 for 105 inches of chain, which I thought was, it's a decent price. It's a decent amount of chain. And it comes with a few jump rings and a few hook clasp enclosures. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm actually thinking about making mine as chokers. So I'll probably have some extra chain left over, which is really great. So if you're thinking of an inexpensive place to get chain from, Walmart might be a little bit less expensive than Michael's and they had tons of different kinds to choose so from. I decided to go with the finer glitter only because the other glitter that I have is completely dried up. So there's nothing I can do with that. And I was gonna use paint, but I was like, nope, this is a nail polish video, so we cannot use paint. So what I'm going to attempt to do with a steady hand is draw a gold line along the silver and the green line that you see here. Um, no shade if I can't do it. I mean, I don't have the most steady hand, but I kind of just wanted like that separation and I felt like the gold glitter would really give it that mm. So I'm kind of just dotting it on there versus trying to draw a line. Initially I was trying to draw a line, but I want to make sure I get enough glitter. So Oh my gosh, I love these. They are going to look so classy. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do um like a gloss on the whole thing because I just really like it how it is currently. So I'm just kind of undecided, but make sure you get it all the way down to the bottom. And I'm just want to lift it up and show it to you and hopefully I don't drop it. I can be a little bit clumsy sometimes. Look how pretty that is. Oh, your boy is bad. Well, your girl. <laughs> Anyway, you know what I mean. That is gorgeous. So now let's do the earrings because of course, you know, we're making a set. So we want to have our matching set with that. So I think it'll be easier if I turn it to the right and that way I'll probably have a little bit more control versus trying to bring it towards me. How was y'all's day today? I've had 
the best day. I um, you know, I work from home, so I don't go. I have to go out when I have to preview properties or when I'm working with a client. But today, I didn't have to go out. Um, I was kind of glad about it, but it's beautiful outside. So you'll notice that I changed clothes, or maybe you didn't notice that I changed clothes in the video because I have not had the chance to work out in weeks. And for Mother's Day, I asked for some some of the bands that you work out with because normally I was lifting weights because I had put on weight. I had lost like 25 pounds and I think 10 of it decided to find its way back home. So I need to get myself together. So as soon as I finish showing you how to make these incredible beauties, I'm, I'm going to get my workout on. But what are y'all doing today? Also, one thing I think is I'm not eating enough food, you know, because a lot of times when you're trying to lose weight, people will eat less food, but I think for my body type, I need to eat more food and definitely need to eat more protein because I'm truly a carnivore. I've thought about doing plant-based diets, but when I eat fruit, I gain weight from all that sugar. So anyway, you got to know what works best for your body. Y'all, when I tell you, I think these are incredible. I'm going to pick them up so you can see one. Look how sweet. That's so sweet. I love it. So I need to do this side over here that's facing me because there's like a little gap near the base of it. But look how pretty. I mean, all from nail polish. And so that's why I keep saying the sky's the limit. But let me stop jibber jabbing and go fix this. As right you there. know, we're doing one more pendant as well. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do like silver glitter, if I want to put gold. I don't want to do gold glitter on everything. Like, I'm doing too much gold, but it's so nice. I just can't help myself. So let me see if I want to add some silver glitter. I'm not sure what that's going to end up looking like. Well, that's pretty. It just kind of adds like a pop of shimmer, which I, I like. I think that's really pretty. So let's do, we're just going to do a few dots of the silver. And this of course is the Kiss Nail Polish in Silver from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna let this one dry, but I do like, that really just gave that some, mm, some je ne sais quoi, whatever that means, right? I'm unilingual. <laughs> so that looks really, really good. One more over here for kicks and giggles. And I'll hold it up so you can see that one too. So I think that one came out really pretty now. I'm probably gonna gloss this one, but maybe not gloss the other ones because I just like how they are. My only concern, ooh, bless you, that was our puppy sneezing. My only concern is if the nail polish were to chip. So I may have to give them a coat or a varnish just so the um, the paint, the nail polish and everything is protected. Hi, you guys. So I wanted to come right quick and finish these up before dinner because I am so hungry, <laughs> right? So I want to go ahead and glue the cabochons on. So of course, I already showed you these sweet little bases. You already know where to get those from. So we are going to, let me place this the way I want it. Cause like I said, none of these are perfectly round, right? So you have to look how pretty that came out. Um, I'm not gonna paint the back because it's going on the cabochon. So the part that kind of overhangs on the base, I'll paint that part. Does that make sense? So I'm just using super glue because again, I want a fast project. I want immediate gratification. So I'm turning it over to make sure it's straight where I want it. I need to move it a little bit. So make sure to turn it over and make sure it's where you want and it's straight. I think I need a little bit more glue because the glass piece is kind of heavy. Now you could use the E6000 and that might be a little bit better just because it is glass and it is heavier, but because I've already started out with the super glue, I'm gonna commit to that. So the back is on straight where I want it. And now I'm gonna sit it down and leave it alone. Let it dry. So now we have another one that we're gonna glue down. Look how pretty that one came out. I really, really love it. I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. Just, they just look really classy to me. So 
I'm, not, I'm trying to decide if I want to do it with the green over the gray or the gray and the green. I'm going to do it with the green on my left. So not that it matters. It's a personal preference, of course. So let's get this one down. And then we're going to do the earrings. And we will have our set ready and complete. And what I like about these is, and what I'm doing is I'm lining the gold glitter strip up with the top of the um the bail you could put this on some leather string and this would make a great gift for father's day or um like i said a necklace for your graduate Ooh. i think i'm gonna put a little bit more on there um so this can be unisex jewelry you know when you do these type um necklaces because so many people would like this jewelry. Oh, and I noticed a lot of um, men wearing more jewelry now and more unique jewelry on top of that. My husband loves bracelets. He loves um, beaded bracelets. He loves anything with a cross. Um, he, lo he collects watches. So men are really open-minded as far as I'm concerned with different jewelry so i'm just trying to line this up from the back so that it looks right and the thing is those cabochons have well let me hold on because i have to make sure the glitter um instead of it being just perfectly straight on the back i need to make sure that glitter line is lined up with the bell top and then after it dried, a little bit of the gold glitter settled, probably where I was pointing it or poking it to hold it down. So I just wanted to fix that right quick. So we're going to move that over there to dry. Um, but what I was just sharing with you is like you could put these on a leather string. They don't have to go on a silver chain or a faux silver chain. Or you could sell them to someone who already has their own chain and... Um, and they just want to put it on what they already have and you could do it that way so so many options so many choices but i just encourage you think outside the box that your customer can be anyone who loves handmade jewelry so now with these look how pretty they turned out i need to touch up the, the clear coat on that one because i had to go back over it but just very classy i love how it turned out and i'm going to with this one, I'm going to put the gray to the left of me, and I'm going to put the post closer to the top so that they hang, um, not hang, but they sit on the ear closer to the top versus in the middle like I did the last ones. And you want to make sure it's straight with the line that you have on there with the gold line so that when it sits on the ear, you know, it looks like it makes sense. So got that one. And now we want to make sure for the opposite side. Let me see. I want to sit me up right quick just so I can see if I want to have the gray out to the side or if I want to have the gray to the center so they're facing one another. That's a tough choice. I think I'm going to do the gray to the center. So they I know something. I should bleep these things out, but this is really who I am. So it's just super funny to me. So we're going to um, glue them that way so that they match up. And the gray is to the face on both sides. I'm going to close up my super glue right quick because, you know, it doesn't take much for that stuff to dry up and dry out. So I'm going to put that up. And now we're going to put our earring base, our post close to the top. I need to make sure it's lined up. I can't wait to show y'all the um, deck renovation that we're working on. Um, my husband and I place the post 
earlier today, our team, and it's looking so good. So, ah, so the this one's dry, but I'm gonna still leave it alone. So we are finished. That is fabulous, right? I love it. And this one is so pretty. I mean, nail polish. Who would believe that these super cute and they feel so heavy and professional in a great way, right? Made out of nail polish and Dollar Tree glass cabochon. So I'm gonna let them dry and we're going to let the earrings dry. And then that is it. So I want you to share with me if you make something or you create something using um, the glass beads from the Dollar Tree. I want you to share it with me, okay?